and I'm here to talk to you today about uh, holdover fires. So what is a holdover fire? Hello, my name is Brad Martin. I'm a fire behavior analyst with the North Peace Complex. As the name implies, a holdover fire is something that uh, holds over for the winter, so the fire never actually goes out. It continues to burn throughout the winter. We had a significant amount of fire in 2023 uh, up in this country, and it burned really deep. And when we have deep burning fires, they tend to hold over, as the name implies, until the following year. Some of the things that lead up to those is a dry drought-like fall where there's limited precipitation, deep organic layers, in the forest floor that allows the fire to burn quite deep. And then what happens as we move into the fall, late fall and winter period is we don't get enough precipitation, whether that's rain or snow. So the fire is actually allowed to burn below that bit of a moisture line. And then in the spring, when that snow melts, a lot of times it doesn't penetrate deep enough to actually put out that fire. So once the snow goes, that allows that fire to then burn and resurface. And if the fuels are there and it's dry enough and windy, these fires can pick up and take off, uh, much like we're seeing now. My name is Eric Kopetsky. I'm a fire behavior analyst here in the North Peace Complex. We have fires that have lasted through the winter. There's been lots of discussion about how this happened. And what these fires need is lots of deep organic soil that's very dry. And they happen throughout the province and anywhere that those conditions are met. So they're not uncommon. However, we have a lot more than usual here in the Fort Nelson area in the North Peace Complex because we had so many fires last year that had so much perimeter. So there's lots of area for these fires to find those conditions to find a home they can sort of nestle in and burn underground through the winter. And when conditions are right in the spring, they've popped up and spread once again. When we look back at 2023, uh, the sheer magnitude is, is quite shocking. We're looking at over 7,300 kilometers of potential holdover perimeter. 7,300 kilometers is equivalent to driving from coast to coast across Canada. And so imagine doing that work as a firefighter, pulling pump and hose or operating heavy equipment over rough terrain and traveling that distance through the forest. For us in Fort Nelson, we have hardly had any days without smoke. My name is Sonia Leverkus. I'm a prescribed fire specialist. I've been living in Fort Nelson for 18 years. Those fires that burn deep underground through the winter, we had trees candling on Boxing Day and it was minus 30, minus 35. That's a rare occurrence. Those fires from 2023 popping back up in 2024. So for those of us that live and work in fire in Fort Nelson, the fire season never ended last year. It extended into 2024, so these are just years. They're becoming years of fire, not seasons of fire. My name is Doug Smith. I'm the Senior Wildfire Officer for Fire Operations for the Prince George Fire Center. I'm here today to talk about our holdover fire situation in our fire center, in particular Fort Nelson. Now we recognize that last year was a very significant fire season for us in, in the north. Holdover fires, they're not new. We've had holdover fires in the past. When we have a significant fire season, especially fires that burn late into the season and approaching winter, these fires, they actually, they're not quite out before the snow hits them. Holdover fires are challenging uh, to detect in the winter because they're typically burning underground and there's minimal uh, visible characteristics, whether that be smoke or flame, that would cue us to their location. However, as we enter a new fire season and fuel conditions dry, that's where those fires will re-emerge on the surface and we can now locate them. In terms of how we manage those holdover fires, often we can take advantage of spring rains that will help extinguish some of those holdover fire locations. What we're really interested in is those locations that pose a risk to nearby values and public safety. And we want to ensure that we have suppression resources available to respond to those holdover locations. There's no fire agency in the world that has sufficient resources to respond to over 7,000 kilometers of perimeter. Monitoring for those new hotspot locations is a key part of our management strategy and ensuring public safety. Not every large fire is a full response fire. Many of our fires, we classify them as a modified response. Many times, our large fires, it's not practical or even possible to completely control these fires. We had our planning in place 
And so we actually implemented that plan beginning later in March and April. That plan helped us identify our first priority as being a holdover fire near Patchery Creek, the fire that is now known as Fire 207. We'll continue to support Fort Nelson with incident management teams, firefighters, and helicopter resources for the time it takes to actually bring more containment to our fire situation here or until we have a more permanent change in our, our weather system here in the north.